Hi and welcome to another quick genealogy tip. Today we're going to be talking about scanning, uh, photo scanning, or well, just a couple of tips relating to photo scanning because in reality scanning is actually a huge topic but I'm not covering it all. So I wanted to start off by showing you this beautiful photograph. Four generations, uh, great grandmother, grandmother, mother and baby daughter. Isn't it gorgeous? Now I want to show you how I would go about scanning this. So I'll explain to you I should say. I would scan this three times. Now first time I would scan it as the entire um, photograph, the edges and all. And why do I scan the edges? Now some people will ask that. I scan the edges so that you can actually see the, how the full original photo is. It also, the style of photograph and the card that it's on helps to date the photograph. Another thing is, because this is actually a studio photograph, it does actually have the studio details down here. So this is done by Grenham and Evans in Perth, Western Australia. So if I don't know when this was taken, I can check up to see when this, this company was in business in Perth uh, using the directories or other sources, we're genealogists, we can do some searching, there's no drama, and find out when they're in business. So that will certainly then help to date the photograph if we didn't know the dates. So that was photograph, uh, scan number one, the full thing. Scan number two, I would scan the back. Now this one, we're fortunate because it does actually have names written on the back, so that is awesome. So. Not all of them do, but sometimes they have other things on the back which is just as useful. So that is definitely what I would be doing, scan the back. And my third one that I would do is scan just the inside. I don't always do this, but sometimes I do because this is a gorgeous photo, so I probably would. I would scan just the inside and scan it maybe a little higher resolution. So I would also scan, when I'm naming my photographs, I would name them as whatever I'm calling it, with a dash A, B and C with the same name because then they sort all in order. So that's just my little tip. You can choose how you want to do it. But I just wanted to show you some other samples. So this is another studio photograph. As you can see, the studio name is here, although not very readable, but we turn it over. No caption, but it does have all the studio details there. So again, you can use that to check out to see when that was in business and then follow that up for, for dating purposes. Another one, fairly standard sort of uh, photograph. No, uh, this one does have Uncle Hugh and Auntie Kit written on the back, so I would scan the entire thing. White edges and all on that one as well. And this one. This one doesn't have a caption, but it does have details of the actual photographer. So again, potentially quite useful for dating if needed. So or even putting them in a location. So that's good as well. So that is just a few of the samples I wanted to show you. The other tip that I wanted to give you is actually about uh, uh, the, the scanning resolution. So all of these photographs, I would scan at a, at a DPI, a 300 DPI. Let's go with that. <laughs> so, so yeah, I would just adjust the scanner, say at 300. Um, some people will agree with me, they would scan less, they would scan more, that's okay. I'm not saying what you have to do, I'm saying this is my personal choice, this is what, how I would be doing it. So um, scan it at 300 DPI and um, I would be fine with that. If it is a photograph or a document, that you're visiting a relative or what you found and you're never ever likely to be able to see that again. Um, say it's something of your, you know, a photograph of your great great grandfather that you've never seen before. Um, scan it at 600. The higher the resolution, the better the quality. Higher the bigger the file too, but hey, sometimes it's worth it. So, um, definitely, so that is my tips. So, all I'm scanning for today and I hope you enjoy and stay tuned for more quick genealogy tips.